Hi, I'm Dave Christensen, head football coach at the University of Wyoming, and we're going to talk about uh, our weekly game planning procedure uh, going into each week. Uh, the first thing we do is we will start our, our breakdowns on Sunday night, and uh, our graduate assistants have broken down all the games prior to us coming in on Sunday, and the first thing we do as an offensive staff is identify all the plays that they ran out of like formations and study those like formations and then we'll go through and look at the plays that we have from those light formations that we feel would work versus what the opponent has shown us. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll then list those plays by the formations that we want to run. Uh, we'll also, at that point in time, come up with any special plays that we want to put in or add to the offense that particular week. And then that'll give us enough to go out Monday morning and practice those plays uh, in two, uh, two of our team periods, which we'll get about 40 plays uh, ran in that 20 minute period of time. Uh, we'll come back in after Monday, continue our game plan by taking the plays that we've put in the offense and decided upon, and then we'll break down and look at different uh, situations, third downs and, and broken down by yardage, red zone broken down by yardage, um, and, and take plays and place them into those uh, categories. And then uh, any special plays that we have to run, fourth down situations, short yardage, goal line, red zone, third down the red zone, a bunch of specific things, uh, four-minute offense, two-minute offense. We'll do the same type of thing and analyze uh, cutouts versus light formations that we ran that they defended mm-hmm. and then put those things into the game plan. So that's, in a nutshell, how we go about game plan uh, each and every week. Uh, it doesn't vary. Um, we have a schedule set for what things are going to get covered at what days and what time. Uh, and then we practice them accordingly the same place and practice each and every week. And is the same with the defense? They do a similar similar thing, the defensive staff, you know, like formations of what they've seen. Is it similar on the defensive side of the ball, too? Well, it is. Uh, you know, they, they have to defend whatever they, they give them. We're only looking at how they defended our particular right. offensive sets. It doesn't make a lot of sense for us to sit there and see how they play pro formation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not going to line up in pro formation. So, sure. Uh, we're more interested in, in exactly what they've done to defend the, the formations that we put on the field. Right. Now, Colin plays this season, and you have co-coordinators and Jim Harding and Pete Caligas. How how does that kind of that dynamic work with, with co-coordinators like that? Well, we, we all work together uh, on the offensive staff uh, in game planning. So, you know, we're not doing anything separate from each other. So we're all together. Uh, it's uh, you know, everybody's thoughts, ideas uh, in one room. And so, you know, if I have to come out to do some other things, it doesn't slow them down. They continue to go uh, uh, along schedule. Um, you know, our, our offensive plays are, the, are what they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're not going to change. They're just deciding, you know, which are best in which situations. Right. With all the technology that's come around, Dave, with the way film is broken down, I mean, what you just described is a lot, sounds like a lot of work, and I'm sure it is, but with the technology out there, has that kind of speeded some of that, those things yeah, up a little bit or streamlined it, I guess? I think, uh, you know, with the, the, the change of technology and how we're able to get information and, and breakdowns that, uh, you know, we're, you know, a lot of coaches used to work 17, 18 hours a day. We only work a half day now, so mm-hmm. 12 hours is all we need each day to to get most of that information all right. together. But game planning, I mean, since you've been you've been doing this for a long time, game planning still game planning, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's still the same. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, it's a lot more efficient now because you have the information. You don't have to take as long to uh, pull up the information and identify it and break it down and, and splice tape and do all those things. that touch of a button, you can have anything and everything you want from a statistical analysis and those play, plays readily available at your fingertips.